Hello, she here. Ever since they asked me to house it, I've been having a wonderful time. We're back! I'm home. Back already? Damn. Hey, the trip to the onsen was a blast, wasn't it? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Melancholy is also a memory of youth. By the way, do you get the feeling we're forgetting about something important? Like your ribs? Stop reminding us of that! to leave this dark world it's too late for that because you and i have <laughs> already kissed each other right ah! <laughs> why why would i have a dream like that thank you for the Hey, give me that lip smacking soy sauce! Oh, Sinako! Are you okay? Dude, what's wrong with you? Who could be calling us this early in the morning? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, hello, Auntie! <gasps> Yeah. Sure. I wonder You're what's right. up. And oh, it's yes. not good news. Yes. Yes. Wait, are you telling me if Sonako doesn't score better than 80% on her upcoming math test, our rent is going to be raised from half price to full price? Oh, okay. I understand. You can count on. Hey, hold it right there, you. I was wondering what kind of unreasonable demands she'd make this time, but it actually could have been a whole lot worse. Mm hmm. Just let Takanaga tutor you and you'll be all set. Well, I'll certainly try. But first I'll need to know what kind of scores you've been getting in math. Were well, your midterms the kiss of death? Yes! Starting a conversation like this. But I've had a crush on Kiyohe ever since middle school. Those kids have a lip. <laughs> oh, she did it again. Oh my gosh, Sonako, what's the matter with you? Oh, Sonako! <laughs> Good morning. Hey, everyone, it's Noi. She's the cutest girl at school. It would seem that Noi is as popular as ever, isn't she? I bet you're worried. Why should I be? Hey, Sonako, listen to this. Yesterday, I went shopping. Whoa! Really check it out! The most beautiful girl in the school is talking to the scariest girl in school! I wanna buy Hey, Exactly! Who the hell do you think you are, Sunaku Nakahara? Huh? You know, Kyohei and the others wouldn't have anything to do with you if you wasn't already their landlady's niece. Since you ladies are so uninformed, I'll let you in on a little secret. The fact is that Sunako's not only beautiful, but also a super kick-ass fighter and just incredibly cool. And you poor ordinary girls don't have a thing on her! <laughs> Her brain has repressed the memory as a safeguard. Somehow I find that insulting. This is a spectacular new lip color. It's called Blue Death Cross. That is a very nice color name. It's the moment we've waited for. Those four Prince Charmings will be all over our lovely kissable lips. All right, ladies, let's move out. We should stop using that word just to be safe. Understood. Gosh, that sounds pretty extreme to me. Hmm. 
Well, I don't know what else to do. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, I have the handouts here for you. Oh, thank gosh. Good morning, Mr. Oda. Is anything the matter, sir? Well, it's just that you are a friend of Miss Nakahara's, aren't you? Why? Is something wrong with Sonako? Well, actually... Hmm? <gasps> no freaking way! <laughs> something important earlier but now I can't remember what it was should I keep trying to remember it or should I not worry about it anymore I don't like coming to this class at all I'm scared so very scared oh. it's time for us to study yeah. hmm. Hi. <laughs> gentlemen these are Sanako's previous test scores. Japanese, 98. English, 100. Science, 93. Social Studies, 89. Wow, Sanako's really smart! And Mathematics, 3. Ah! How could you score 3% on your math test? Here, Sanako, try to solve these problems Takanaga wrote up for you. What the hell? These questions look crazy hard! They're basic, and they're definitely going to be on her next test. <laughs> There's no way! It looks like we're in trouble now, too. Here you go, Sanako. Just give it a try. <sighs> Now, Sanako, if there's anything you don't understand, don't hesitate to... You can do it, Takanaga! You betcha! Now, pay attention. Here, I have three Josephines. The premise is incorrect. <clears throat> That's not her. Josephine's a whole skeleton. John's the one with only a skull. And... That's entirely beside the point right now. Now, look, there are three Josephines. I can't say how many Hiroshis there are, but there are five in total. So tell me, how many Hiroshis are there? <laughs> Sure, this is gonna work. Correct. Let's move on now. In this next question, Josephine is Y and Hiroshi is X. Now, solve this simple equation. This kind of answer should roll right off your tongue. <laughs> oh, Sanako, why don't you be a good girl and come out of your room? been in there ever since she came home from school. This plan obviously isn't going to work. We should just give up and pay the full rent. Are you kidding me? No way! I don't even have enough to pay the normal rent! If that's how it is, I'll make her study no matter what! No more of this! How's they go? You want them back to score 80 points on the master? Yes, Whoa, take it easy, Kyohei. It's not like you're any good at math either. It's just that Sonako's even worse at it than you are. Come on, that's not fair! Besides, if you compare average scores, you have even lower grades than she does. <laughs> I challenge you, Sonako Nakahara! Whoever scores more than 80 points in math wins! I don't mind losing. Why? I, 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 I... Just forget about it, all right? At this rate, things are gonna lead to bloodshed, Joey! Would you shut up, Yuki? I'll just split up without she keeps running away from everything all the time! <laughs> For example, if something happens that she dislikes, she just erases it from her memory completely! And now, because she doesn't like math, she's refusing to even try studying! She's always running away! That's why she likes the dark! Running away? That's right! You're just running away from everything, aren't you? <sighs> but you aren't any good at math either. Ah! Come on, children! Get out of the ring! Out of the ring! Sonako? I compiled all the questions I think are going to be on the test, so if you feel like it, try to work on them. I'm running away. Am I really? But how can I be? Could I possibly? Hey, Hiroshi! What do you think? Please, answer me!
it's right now! What's happened to my cute hey? I honestly don't care if he treats me coldly. I honestly don't care if he's kind of violent. Just go back to how you used to be. Well, I'd rather get slapped by him than have this happen. Jeez, you really are extreme, aren't you, Kyohei? I mean, just take a look at all this commotion you're causing. It certainly makes you remember how popular Kyohei really is. But who would have suspected he was this popular? Oh, they're gonna like you less now. Well, just shut up. I've got something to prove to that escapist nut job. I'm gonna show her that anything's possible just as long as you're willing to put your mind to it. <sighs> Yuki, bring me a bento. Uh, you want it already? I get hungry when I use my brain a lot. <laughs> All right, here you go. Wow, another scrumptious looking lunch. I tell you, that Sunako is a true cooking genius. Give me that! <laughs> uh, Kyohei, you've got food all over your face. Take this, okay? <gasps> Look how clean this handkerchief is. So Sunako even irons these, too. Uh, yeah. Hey, have any of you thought about how bad this is? We're forcing her to study, and we're still making her handle all the housework, too. Of course it's bad. I you need to divide the household chores among everyone to be fair. All right, then. In that case, I'm going to volunteer to cook tonight's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Yuki. Yeah. Would you guys please be quiet? I'm studying here. <laughs> We're going to divide the housework until after the math test. Good luck to us all. You sure look awful tired this morning. A couple of things have become clear. How painful it is to be forced to do something you can't, and the fact that none of us has any talent whatsoever when it comes to cooking. Yuki, I don't ever want to catch you cooking anything again. Is that understood? You guys are so mean to me. As a matter of fact, Sanako's the only one who ate all the dinner that I cooked. Oh, you mean Sanako yeah. actually ate it? Yes, she did. You I mean she ate that murderous meal you made? Come on, you guys, it wasn't that bad. Even you couldn't eat that crap, remember? Oh, that's right, I couldn't. So much pain. Stop hurts. Right, begin the test. Hmm? Is something wrong? I run. Very sleepy. Um, Sanako, would it be okay if I took a look at your test worksheet? Ah, fine. Thank God that's over with. How'd you do? It's over, it's over! <laughs> it's over, and I can have some fun! <laughs> Incredible. Sanako, could you possibly have... <laughs> What's up? These calculations you wrote on your worksheet. Am I correct in assuming these are what you actually used? Yeah, I guess so. Then you might get a hundred! She might get a hundred?! This is great, Sanako! You really managed to pull it off! Your overall GPA wasn't too good because of your math score, but now it'll be neck and neck with mine, and that's not just lip service. <laughs> Oh, 
Marco finally snaps! She must have remembered about kissing Kiyohe again! The Road to Womanhood! Presenting How to Kiss Beautifully! I wonder if my nose will accidentally bump into his nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you kiss someone, don't close your eyes suddenly. Instead, stare longingly at the other person's lips right up until the moment your lips touch theirs. If you do that, I guarantee you will become unbearably sexy to the other person. Dude, aren't you embarrassed to say stuff like that? Huh? Why should I be? <laughs> Temptation capable of melting body and mind. A fragrant forbidden fruit that ripens in your mouth, beckoning you along the path towards certain ecstasy. You are talking about a major load of... No, no, no. <gasps> Don't do anything stupid! Now that my spirit has been eroded by that dazzling creature of light, my life isn't even worth living anymore. Oh, dear Aunt Roshi, I dear Aunt Josephine. I'm sorry I turned my back on the darkness! Yuki! Go to the chemical lab and grab John. Huh? Why do you want him? Just go in there and get it for me. Okay. <laughs> now, will you please stop these theatrics? It was just one stupid kiss. Exactly. I'm sure for a person like you, he was just one stupid kiss. And what does that mean? Yeah. You mean it's really true that you kissed that girl? Kiss me too. Kiss me too. Yeah. It's horribly true. Kyohei's told me stories about when he was in middle school, when people would ambush him and steal kisses on a daily basis. Sometimes it got so bad that his lips needed a police escort back home. What an amazing story! You worked really hard for that math test instead of running away from it, and I give you full credit for that! But that wasn't good enough! You had to find something else to run away from! A stupid little kiss! Don't you say that! Oh no! I'm gonna tell you the truth about kisses, sweetheart! <laughs> <laughs> There. Now you must remember this. A kiss is just this. And if there isn't any love behind it, it means absolutely nothing. Okay, I get it now. I swear, Sanako. Why is it that this kind of drama has to follow you everywhere you go? Well, I'm glad she's safe now. Even if she got a perfect score on the test, it wouldn't mean much if she were dead. See? You can do anything if you just put your mind to it. How hard did you study for that test anyway? Oh, I just memorized everything in the study sheet you guys made for me. Huh? Uh, the numbers on the test were a little different, so it was kind of a pain, but... Damn it! You mean to tell me you really got a hundred as easily as that? Mm-hmm. I just don't like adding and subtracting. You and human rats! You have the foggiest idea what I had to put up with so I could cry for that horrible test! Joe, oh it's God. not fair to take that out on her! Actually, I don't like multiplication or division either. Oh, let go of me, Tammy! I'm gonna find out what it looks like inside that twisted brain of oh, hers! I'm so very... I'm so very... Oh, the teacher must be crying because he's so overwhelmed. I'm just so very depressed. Oh. You answered all the questions correctly, but all the answers were off by one row. So you only got three percent again. Another three. <laughs> you moron! What the hell are we gonna do about the rent now? <laughs> I'm very sad about it too. Jeez, this is really pathetic. We don't want to hear that from you. Oh, oh, Hiroshi here. I'm looking forward to Christmas more than anyone else. Does that bother you? The year's almost over, but it doesn't seem 
like Sinako's going to become a lady anytime soon, does it? Why don't we write a letter to Santa Claus about it? Santa? If I'm asking for anything, it's gonna be for money. Enough money to cover the full rent. Someone doesn't know how to dream big. All right, then. What would you ask Santa for? Internal organs. I don't think he could give you go. You're pretty easily amused, Yuki. But it is a lot of fun. What? How can this be fun when the Wicked Lord of Dread is coming? The Wicked Lord of Dread? The one who comes to visit at Christmas is Santa Claus. Yes, except in our case, Santa is a very scary person who only comes here to collect the rent. My sweet. Yeah, so how the hell can you be over here just humming away with doom approaching? But the thing is, Christmas Day has a very special meaning for the four of us, remember? Huh? How's that? <laughs> Um, Sonako? Huh? That's no Christmas Eve at all! So, Yuki, what did you mean by Christmas being special for you? <sighs> well, it was just one year ago. I came here to live in this boarding house by myself, because my dad had to move away from the city for his work. I was really excited, but I was a little nervous about it, too. Hello, I'm Yuki Nojo Toyama. It's very nice to meet you. I'm the landlady. You're the landlady? What's wrong? Well, when I hear landlady, I picture someone like a... Hey there, curfew's nine o'clock. And when you come to dinner, you gotta eat up within half an hour. Oh, man, now I'm seeing things. <laughs> oh, what's that sparkling? Oh. Hello. I'm Ron Maru Mori. Holy cow, he's just like a prince or something. Mm. Hello, nice to meet you. You're cute. Hey, wait a minute, I'm a guy, I'm a guy! A guy? <laughs> Starting today, you boys are going to be living together, so try to get along. I'm expecting one more, the same age as you, so you should all get along just fine. But of course. And naturally, that other person is a young lady, correct? What? We're housemates? And the same age? <laughs> What's with the very Japanese atmosphere? Good afternoon. My name is Takanaga Oda. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I shall forever be in your debt, madam. Well, I certainly appreciate your courtesy. Whoa, another good-looking guy? All right, now that everyone has arrived, why don't you boys go ahead and take your things up to your rooms? And then we'll all have dinner together. I understand our landlady's a widow. What? Lucky for me. <laughs> wow! Awesome! <laughs> Starting to say this is my new room! Whoopee! I get to live in this huge, amazing mansion with a beautiful landlady and cool housemates! It feels like I've become part of a completely different world! There was no Sunako in the house back then, so... Wrong! You had no lady! So, how do you like it? <laughs> it all tastes incredible! Let me guess, this cuisine is catered by the famous French restaurant Noble, if my palate does not deceive me. <laughs> Would you care for seconds? Yes, please! <laughs> All right, but be sure to leave enough room for some dessert, okay? <laughs> dessert, huh? Mm -hmm. But wouldn't you like to offer me a different dessert? Mm -hmm. You know I'll eat it all up, don't you? Mm, it's been a while. <laughs> Was that just my imagination? I could have sworn you said something to me! Hey, let's just all try to enjoy the meal together, right? Auntie! What? Surely you didn't call me Auntie! I'm so sorry, I really am! Would you please let go of me? I know, perhaps you're in need of some speech lessons or something like that! Dawson, please! What for? Huh? Get out of here, hysterical woman with a beautiful Please do something! No way. Why should I? Why should you? The four of us are gonna be living together, so why can't we just get along and have fun? That was so cute, and it really hit the spot. <laughs> and besides, 
Having fun isn't part of my plans, and neither are you. <sighs> High school life. Well, in any case, <laughs> those two boys were sent here because their families wanted them to be normal. Ron Maru's been used to having things his way all his life, while the restrictions of Takanaga's family's traditions and upbringing have left him far removed from the real world. In the end, it really isn't their fault, but I must admit they're a little twisted. Uh huh. Look, I understand those two are known for some pretty bad behavior. So please just try your best to be patient with them, okay? Ron Maru! So, Ron Maru, listen, and I was... Ah! Ah! Who is this? He's such a cutie. <laughs> Wanna hang out with us, little boy? I am not a little boy! <laughs> Did you need something? You have to come help me clean in the dining room. It's your fault it's such a mess in there, so you need to fit in with this! Hmm... I haven't ever actually cleaned anything before, so... I'll let you handle it. <laughs> now, where were we, ladies? <laughs> Fine! So basically, I need you to help me clean up. Sorry, I'm busy. I'll bet you've never cleaned anything before either, have you? I'm sorry, but have we met before? We certainly have. Our first meeting was at a party, and the second time we met each other was at the Kendo Championship. If you remember that, I won the tournament. <sighs> the only reason I learned Kendo is because I was forced to as heir to the Oda family line. But you did win flower arrangement. Yes, I did. And you would be Mori, as in the Mori family hotel group. Mmm, one and the same. Wow, they're rich! Real-life Richie Riches! Both of them are crazy rich, unlike me, I'm just a plain old ordinary commoner! I think I'll ask Miss Nakahara to install a lock on my door. Uh? And I'll need a TV in my room. And a shower. No way! Uh. If I put locks on the doors, Takanaka would bolt himself in, and Ronmaru would be bringing girls over. That kind of selfishness will not be tolerated in this household. It's only natural to lock oneself in when strangers constantly surround one. He's right. Kids need their privacy, too, you know. Oh, so you want to be treated like a kid when it's convenient? Well, you have some nerve, mister. There'll be no dinner until you two clean up the dining room. And if you have anything to say to me, then say it after you've cleaned everything up. I don't have time for this crap. Yes, we're obviously going to have to hire a housekeeper. You can't do that! That's only gonna make her more... Why, hello there. How'd you like to take me out to an Italian restaurant for dinner tonight? All right, I'm going back to my room. Someone call up a catering service for dinner. Hey, wait! Huh? Get back! Huh? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, not my face! I hate you two, you bookworm, you playboy! You don't care about other people's feelings? I hate stupid rich kids! I hate you! I hate you! Okay, I hate buddy. you! Don't be so cocky! Ah! Well, don't you underestimate Playboy! I mean, honestly, fighting is so ridiculous. Huh? Shut up! Oh, sure, as if you're in any position to talk about us. <laughs> How's that? I've always been exactly the same. No, I remember. Uh -huh. Back then, you were like a walking broad-bladed knife. Broad-bladed knife? <laughs> what now? A knife! A broad-bladed knife? That's right. Later on that day... What is this? Um, welcome back. In any case, I have some big news for you. I just found something very interesting outside. Huh? Yoo-hoo! Come on in! Hold on, huh? you mean you found him? This is Kyohei Takano. I've decided to let him stay here and that's all there is to it. Huh. Okay, am I going to be sold to them, or am I going to be sold along with them, perhaps? <gasps> Why would you think I'm that kind of person? Yeah, I don't buy ourselves! <sighs> hmm, so where on earth did you find such a thing? 
I found him huddled in a cardboard box out in the rain. Just like a little puppy dog. That's a lie! Fucking August, you just made that up, right? There's too much drama in here. Ah, that calm attitude of yours really pisses me off! Well, you just left the store so suddenly, without any warning, so, uh, I got worried about you. <laughs> Don't ever show your face in hell again! Uh, that was really... <laughs> Really what? <sighs> Nothing. If you have something to say to me, just say it. Hmm, I think you're afraid of something. <laughs> hey, Auntie! Auntie! Send them all away, no matter who comes to visit. And I'm not taking any calls. I understand that you've been fine, but maybe you're also the cause of it. What you did was unjustifiable self-defense! Oh, kill him! I know you're inside the house! Please, come out! <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Your mother is so tired! <sighs> Hello, Kyohei Takano is not here right now. Hello? Kyohei Takano is not here right now! He's not here! Jeez Louise! Where should I put this stack? Huh? What's that? Kyohei is part of today's mail. Ew, that's blood! How about this bulky envelope? Uh... Oh, that's human hair! I hope you will think of this memento as me and cherish it. My... Why are you crying? Because this is just terrible! How can he feel safe anywhere where they do this to him all the time? <laughs> Be quiet out there! Are you Kyohei's friend? Yeah, I'm his friend. Well, I am his girlfriend, so you better let me see him right now! I'm his I'm girl! His friend. Whoa, 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 whoa! What makes you so sure he's even here? hired a private detective. Police would be guarding him on his way to and from school, and whenever I went to his house, his mother always turned me away. It's just not fair! Wait! Why on earth would they do such things anyway? Because there's always some stupid woman who's trying to kidnap him. That's right, there was, so you can butt out. Things are really terrible for Kiyohei. He's sexually harassed, even at work. Harassed? Sexually? <laughs> But no thanks. <laughs> you might stop being stubborn and accept his offer. <laughs> Listen up! Kyohei Takano is not in this house! Attention, everyone! Kyohei Takano is not inside this house! Please leave! Please oh, leave! Ladies, I have finally located our beautiful friend Kyohei! Who knows? All they really care about is their own fixations. For that matter, I imagine any cute guy will do. Right! It's your turn to be on stage now! Hmm? With this silky hair and flawlessly smooth skin of yours, your incredible sexy body, overflowing with pheromones, you're the only one who can satisfy them, so go do it! <laughs> well, if you insist, I guess I simply have no choice. Hey! Someone's coming out now! But that's definitely not Kyohei! <laughs> well... Hello there, beautiful young ladies. Well, hold on a sec. He's so handsome! 
I'll hang out with you if that's okay. than punching them out individually. Toss it quick, okay? That was hilarious. You're so pathetic. Can't you see the kids trying to protect you? Just what is your damage? Could the truth be that you're simply unable to do anything by yourself? Or is it that you just lash out at anyone, even those girls, like you did last night? If that's the case, I'm sure you can find some place to stay that's more to your liking. So why don't you go there? Miss Nagahara, this is the police! There's been a report that Kyohei Takano has been kidnapped and confined here in your residence! Oh, this is great. So now we're criminals, huh? It'll be fine, really. You must open the door immediately! Miss Nagahara, this is the police! We need it! Oh, someone's coming out! Kyo, oh, he's coming outside! It's really him! Oh, what's wrong? What's happening? Get out of way! Please leave. I beg of you. Stand up now, sir. Is it true that you've been kidnapped and confined here against your will? Go check inside the house. Right! Hold it. Who said you could go in this house? <laughs> no one goes in there. I won't allow it. <laughs> what the hell? Force our way in, sir! Hold it right there! Uh -huh. You've got some nerve having a party outside my house! She's the kidnapper! Arrest her! I have a phone call for you, detective. <laughs> uh, what the? Uh, who the hell is this? Superintendent General! <laughs> what? You say you're the one who requested that Kyohei Takano be taken into her care? Officers and ladies. Please listen very carefully. These boys are important to me and they belong here. Therefore, if one of you ever harms a single hair on their heads, I'll be sure to send you straight to hell! <laughs> you heard her! You girls get out of here right now! <laughs> well, if you'll excuse us now, ma'am. Let's go! Yes, sir! Yo. <laughs> On your hands and knees. How oh, cool. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, by the way, huh? I've told all your parents that I don't have to support you financially anymore. Huh? Mine too? <laughs> of course. I'm not one to discriminate. From now on, you boys are responsible for everything, including paying your own share of the rent, among other things. What? And that, dear boys, is my Christmas present to you all. What kind of gift is that? <laughs> I see, I had no idea that's what happened. Uh -huh. And that's why Christmas Day is so important to me. That was the very first time we all laughed together. <laughs> okay, enough with all the emotional stuff. So was that your first time cross-dressing Miss Yuki? Hey, you know I don't like doing that. I only did it because I didn't have any other choice. Huh? Look, in the snow. Is that... Uh... 
Question to ask Ranmaru. Uh, hey, Yuki. I don't have it. How about Kiyomi? Talking Naga, how much do you have? Merry 